All right, what's up guys? Game Boys here, we got a new video. We're gonna go over the most important thing in the gym, benching, you know? You know, who cares about squats or deadlifts, it's all about benching, everyone cares about benching. But we're gonna be talking about the correct form and uh, things you may be doing wrong, pros and cons of benching. Well, not really the pros and cons of benching, but like just certain tips to help you guys bench better because uh, until recently I told Quentin he needs to arch his back because apparently he never did it, which is a huge mistake. So that's gonna be the first thing we're gonna talk about. All right, so like I just said, we're gonna talk about the arch first. The most, little the most important thing of your bench besides your hand placement. So, uh, I know I have really pale legs and they're really small and this is not a good angle, <laughs> but what you're gonna do, instead of benching with your back flat like this, is first off, it's a lot harder. As you can see, I'll show you, you have to go a lot farther all the way down there. Plus your shoulder blades are like all messed up and your shoulder will uh, rotate not in the right way. So what you're gonna do is, Arch your back, so you want to press your uh, shoulder blades back into the bench and depress your scapula and make a strong base off of it. And then with your arch, you have a lot more power and you only have to go a shorter range of distance because you're arched up like a couple inches off the bench. So, um, yeah, the arch really helps. Plus, it won't mess up your shoulders, it's easier to get it up, to get more weight up, and it's just safer all around. So, tip number two here's your hand placement. Yeah, we just talked about the arch, and we're talking about hand placement. So, a lot of people bench with different hand placements, so it's kind of up to preference, but uh, usually, I don't really see much bars with two of these rings, but usually there's just one. And I go pinky on the ring. It's like perfect width uh, to really activate your chest and your triceps, because when you go like way more far in, like this, it works way more your triceps. So you can see the difference in my arms, because they're like way more going, way more inwards instead of flared out. So it'll work a lot more in your triceps. If you want to work the bench uh, or your chest more and move a lot more weight up, feel wider grip. All right. So the next thing is we're talking about volume and how to increase your bench press. As you guys can see, or not, well, you can see, I'll put a clip right here. There are two clips of me hitting like a 195 like last year and then 250 this year, and there's a little difference in my arch and my hand placement and everything. And then uh, so. The reason I can increase it that much and have increased it like over the years faster than, let's say Quentin, not throwing him under the bus or anything, but <laughs> uh, it's because volume. So people come to the gym, sometimes they'll not know what they're doing with volume, so they'll put like 45s on the bar or whatever they can do for like 10 reps and they'll just do like three sets of 10 reps, which is dumb because you're not really pushing yourself as much with heavy weight, you're just doing like weight that you feel comfortable with, which is not what you want to do. We do reverse pyramid training, so you do the heavy set first, so it'll be like four to six reps of like I do 225, I think Quentin does like 185, so like really heavy weight that we're challenging with. Then we'll go a little bit lighter to get more reps in, so it's a little, like it's still moderate weight, and then we'll go a little bit lighter to where we can actually like rep it up for 10 reps for the extra volume. So it's a good way to get all the volume in you need, get strength and hyper, 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 a tree, I cannot say that word, <laughs> hypertrophy. And yeah, it's how we both have been able to increase our bench presses and how we're gonna do it for literally the rest of our lives. So. Yeah. Look at these pale ass chicken legs right here, dude. Not good. These look like dehydrated chicken legs or something. <laughs> you leaving like water too long? Yeah. All right. So uh, the next thing we're talking about is foot placement, which is really important. So foot drive is like one of the best things you need for benching, a lot of, especially a lot of weight. Because if you don't have like, it's not really hard to, or easy to see with a 45 pound bar, but if you don't have any feet, it's a lot harder to like push it off and you feel way more unstable. Especially if you have, even if you have them up here, it's still like really unstable and really weird. So what you want to do with your feet is, what I do is when I arch, let me like this in my legs, to where you can like feel you're just pushing off them. Like it'll be like really tight and you'll be pushing off, it'll kind of tighten your legs up too, to get it activated. So, I mean, it's also part of preference. So I've seen some people that they put their legs like all the way up here and do it, which is, it's kind of weird because it feels like I'm going to raise my glutes up when I do this, so I don't really do that. There's people that also do it like all the way up front, which I don't feel that at all, so I don't know how that could help with the leg drive at all. So I like to tuck them back like this. You really feel it like it like pushes my ass onto the bench and my back up more. So again, it's kind of the preference, but if you want to keep your feet flat too, that works. I used to do that. I changed up my foot placement like three times because I started lifting. More than that, probably, but so am I. now I'm just keeping it at this. So yeah. 
So here's a clip of me doing 155 last year, January 2019. And you can clearly see that my back is completely not arched at all. I just completely have a flat surface. Versus a clip of me doing 200, which was about last week, I think. And you can definitely see the difference between how my back is arched. So definitely recommend this music. All right, so the next thing we're talking about is uh, maxing out every time. So not to throw anyone under the bus, but I don't even know if you watch our videos anymore. But back when we used to go with Cameron Subert, the redhead kid that was also part of Game Boys, he used to max out like every single time we went to the gym, I feel like. But I mean, it kind of worked for him. He must have been a steroids or something. I don't know what was going on. But he had <laughs> amazing recovery. But for most people, you can't recover that fast. So we max, we went max out like once every like three months. Yeah, literally. Time, like never max out. But some people actually like max out every time they go to the gym and they think it's good for you. It's not good. Because if you go like, especially more people that go like six times a week, if you max out every time you go, every time you go to bench every week, it's not going to work. So like, you're not gonna see any progress. You're gonna get mad because your body can't recover that fast. It, like, it's really uh, damaging your central nervous system. Like, so you need to like give yourself time to recover. So I say max out like once every like three months. If you want to actually see progress, by like 15 pounds if you're lucky. Oh, sorry, dude. Shit. <laughs> That's gonna be the end of the video. I know, not really an exciting video, but I still can't lift. I got my wisdom teeth taken out like this week or Saturday. So hopefully, actually, will it be? Yeah, next video will definitely be a working out video. Uh, might actually be on a brand new camera that hasn't been announced yet, but uh, may, have, may have gotten a camera, who knows? May, maybe not, maybe, maybe we did, maybe we didn't. But yeah, so if you're looking out for a brand new camera, maybe a brand new gym too, because this shit sucks. The lighting in here is ass. Uh, the whole atmosphere sucks, the background sucks, everything about this gym is just not good. So we're gonna go to a new gym, hopefully that's like way cooler, way better than anything can be way cooler. So yeah, um, you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next. And see you guys in the next video, maybe we'll hit 200, 200 subs on the next video. We'll also be having a Q&A at 200 subs, so if you guys wanna be a part of that, leave a comment, or we'll, put a, we'll also put something up on Instagram and stuff, so leave a comment or question that you guys have, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>